Relationship advice. Update. My friend is about to ask his girlfriend to marry him, but I'm the only one who knows how unfaithful she is. Do I say anything? Original story. Not sure if this belongs in this sub because it is in my relationship. I'm asking for advice about. If not, apologies. So, my good friend Aaron and his girlfriend Mary have been together for almost seven years. They meet in college and are in a very close relationship. Personally, I would call them extremely codependent. Neither of them really have any friends aside from each other. She doesn't let him have guy friends. In fact, she doesn't let him do a lot of things. He's not allowed to go out past 11, not allowed to drink or smoke, she has to approve of all of his friends, and he's not allowed to be alone with other girls. She's got this guy on a tight leash. The reason why they're still together is that Aaron is completely whipped, and to him she can do no wrong. He talks regularly about how amazed he still is that she finds him attractive. He's a decent looking guy, but she's like supermodel level good looking, they post cutesy couple photos every day, I'm pretty sure she makes him post them, and to everyone who sees them, they appear to be the perfect magical fairy tale couple. Anyway a few weeks ago, he told my boyfriend and I that he was planning on proposing to marry. Of course, we congratulated him because he seemed super excited. Now here's the issue, a few weeks prior to this, I hung out with a friend of Mary, Allison. Allison told me about a party they went to, where Mary got drunk and slept with her ex. After the party they began hooking up regularly, and she had a three-way with him and a friend of his. Aaron has no knowledge of these hookups. I told my boyfriend about it because he shares my friendship with both of them, and he believes that we need to say something, but I'm not so sure how to even go about that. It will destroy him, ruin their entire relationship, and maybe a friendship as well. However, I think in the long term he will be unhappy with a marriage where she's so controlling. Not even that, but if she's completely okay with cheating on her long-term partner, it will be the same once they're married. Is telling him the right thing to do? Edit, to clarify, the cheating has not been going on for 6 years, as far as I'm aware, and the hookups occurred recently. Now for the top advice. Tell him before it's too late. He's your friend. You got to let him know. Ouch, poor guy. I feel for him. I'd want to know. I feel the same way. I ran into a very similar situation. My wife and I shared a two-bedroom apartment with another married couple that we met on Craigslist. My wife went to a party with his wife one weekend. They had some drinks, and his wife pointed to a guy at the party, and just straight up told her, see that guy? I've been screwing him. My wife was shocked, they weren't very close and she just dropped a bomb on her. So, the next day my wife confided in me this story, to where my first reaction was, we definitely have to tell him. Well I sat him down alone, I believe the next day, and told him everything I was told. Told him, I'm sorry he had to hear it from me, but if I was him, I'd want to know. He was devastated but thanked me. He confronted her later on and she denied everything, called my wife and I some choice names, I believe liar and home wrecker was in there too. She cursed me out and was very hateful towards me as she moved her stuff out. In the end, he got a divorce and is now years later happier. He might not take it very well, but I think you should tell him. He can do what he wants with the information, but as a friend you should absolutely tell him before he marries this chick. I second this but be prepared for him not to believe you. Especially in a codependent relationship, he will probably trust her word over yours. That's what I'm worried about. Edit 2. Some of the commenters are calling me a bad friend for not telling him immediately. After giving it some thought and reading the comments, I have decided to tell him as soon as I can, most likely tonight if he's free to hang out. To those saying I'm being a bad friend for waiting, this is a huge deal, and it will greatly affect the future of Aaron, and I wanted to make sure I break the news in the correct way. This man is blinded by love. He's not going to be expecting this news at all and his whole life is about to change. I'm definitely not going to do nothing because he deserves much better than this woman, and he deserves to know the truth about what he's getting into if he still decides to marry her. I'm expecting a full-blown crap storm, I'm expecting him to be hurt, angry, in disbelief. I don't believe it's wrong that I'm asking for a bit of advice on how to approach this. Should I have told him sooner? Maybe, but what difference would a few weeks make? For all those asking, I'll post an update when I do it. Edit 3. I've talked to Aaron since I posted this and he is coming over tonight to talk slash hang out. My boyfriend and I are going to tell him together, because he knows the situation as well. A few of you have suggested I talk to Mary first to give her a chance to come clean. While that's a good idea, I'm not as close to her as I am to Aaron, 
and I don't see that going over well. I would much rather tell him and leave it to him to decide what to do from there. Edit 4, new information has been received from the third party friend Allison. She has sent me screenshots of texts that do prove Mary has been involved with her ex. They send messages regularly and he has sent her nudes. Edit 5, I'll just mention that Aaron just got to her house, 8 p.m. EST, we'll update later if I can. Thank you all so much for the kind messages and helping me work this hot mess out. I've been stressing about this all day, but I believe I am doing the right thing in telling him. Edit 6, quick little edit. 11 o'clock EST, we all talked for a good bit, I told him what I heard from Allison and it went better than expected, but he was still pretty mad and upset. We are all just chilling and drinking now, I'll post the whole story tomorrow. Thanks again for all the replies. Now for the full update. So, I got lots of feedback on what to do here. A good majority of the commenters told me to say something. To clarify, it may not have been clear in the original post, but I was never planning on doing nothing. Of course, you got to tell your bro if they're being cheated on. I just was not sure how to approach the situation. Some of the commenters gave me some very helpful advice. Some of you told me to talk to the girlfriend first, some of you told me to wait, some told me to gather a bunch of evidence first, which I ended up getting from Allison, the third party friend. Some of you guys got angry with me for not telling him sooner, told me I was a bad friend. Some were sure he wouldn't believe me, some predicted the girlfriend would deny it all. Well, all of you were somewhat right. Here's how it went down. I messaged Allison early on in the day, shortly after I made the post, because typing it all out brought my guilt and apprehension from the situation to the surface. I said to Allison that I needed to tell Aaron, and asked whether or not she had proof. This was when she sent me the screenshots of the text messages. Aaron came over at around 8, and what was great was that Allison came over too. We all sat down and talked for a bit, and we all told him our suspicions about Mary. Allison showed him the text screenshots of Mary talking to her ex, and also told Aaron all the stories she shared about her encounters. What was the most surprising was his reaction. He took it very well. He first got very quiet, and just nodded. Aaron ended up telling us, that he had a sneaking suspicion that something was going on. He was not aware of the hookups but he and Mary had gotten into fights before over the fact that she doesn't allow him near any other girls, but she goes out and flirts with other guys all the time. He told us that she had been distant lately, and would leave rather often without telling him where she was going. There were a few other small things he mentioned that told us he was just generally unhappy with his relationship. He knew in his gut something was wrong, but wanted to believe it wasn't true. We started unwinding with some alcohol after that and it all got way more emotional. He cried talking about how he felt stupid for not seeing it sooner, how he really loved her and would have given her anything. Then he got angry. At her, and even more so at the guy. Some unpleasant and derogatory terms were used to describe her. Ultimately, he told us that he's going to be breaking it off at least for now. We told him a million times how much better he deserved. He's definitely not going to marry her. Thanks again all for the support of words and advice. We saved a good man from heartbreak. Now for the top comments. She doesn't allow him near any other girls, but she goes out and flirts with other guys all the time. Every single time. Extreme jealousy is a projection. The craziest part, is how they can disconnect the reasons for their jealousy from their partner's reciprocal feelings. Anybody who goes around and flirts with random strangers is a bad partner. Who's to say he won't just cheat on me? I mean, yeah, I'm going out and flirting and cheating, but. Error brain connection missing. You're good person OP. If you or Allison are ever in London let me know and I'll hook you up with an overpriced cocktail. Or if OP decides to visit Malaysia, let me know and I'll hook you up with any kind of overpriced beer slash liquor. You did well OP. Hopefully Mary doesn't try to manipulate him or convince him to stay, people like Mary have a knack for that. Keep by his side and make sure he has people stand up to her with him. The more help he can get through this. Also try and have him break things off over text or in public, Mary seems like the type to react very badly. Agreed here. I was in a manipulative relationship where the girlfriend took advantage of my inexperience and steady paycheck to feed her validation. Thankfully, my tolerance meter is quite low, as it is so this only lasted 3 months. However, the psychological damage was already done and it took me years to fully come to terms with the situation. The part that I am still not able to shake off, is how there were plenty of friends around me at the time, who just let me stay in that disaster relationship without ever once stepping in to tell me to wake up. 
I am forever grateful to the real friends who did exactly that, two of whom were groomsmen at my wedding. Here here for great friends who really care about their own. Edit, I understand the logic behind being wary of my possible bad reaction to people calling out how the girlfriend was a bad person, but I still believe that true friends don't leave you to stay in your misery. Now for the next story. Last week I discovered my girlfriend has been posting nudes on Reddit, some of me without my consent, kicked her out, and now my family and friends hate me. I don't know what to do. I, 25 male, had been in a relationship with my girlfriend, now ex, for 5 years, and she was my first everything, kiss, s, etc. We've had our ups and downs like every couple, and our arguments never lasted more than 15 minutes at the most, and from an outside point of view, we would have looked like the normal happy couple. About a week or so ago, my phone was having some issues and I needed to use Reddit for something, so I asked to use my girlfriends. When I opened the app, I saw that she had 300 plus PMs and I thought to myself, what the hell? Curious, I opened up a couple to see lines like, hey sexy, winky face, and, send some nudes my way baby, and other various creepy stuff. This led me to check out her post history to see if it could be related, and I was hit with hundreds of her own nudes over the course of a year with titles like, my boyfriend doesn't need to know winky face, and, my boyfriend doesn't satisfy me enough, maybe a kind redditor can? There were even videos where she recorded us doing it without my knowledge, by hiding her phone on the dresser and in the laundry. I was disgusted. I confronted her, pissed off, and when she saw that I had seen the posts she instantly broke down ugly crying, and begging me to forgive her, and to please not be upset. I didn't want to hear any of it and kicked her out of my house. It's been a week and multiple members of my family and friends, are telling me that I'm a misogynistic a-hole for not letting her be who she wants, WTF? And that I'm the typical patriarchal male who feels the need to control women, again, WTF? I'm at a loss here and I need advice, any given will be much appreciated. Now for the top advice. You're not misogynistic. What she did is actually illegal. I would tell your family and friends to piss off. I wonder how they would feel if they found secret recordings of them doing it with their partners online? I would literally turn the videos over to the police and let them handle it. After she pleaded guilty, I would have a lawyer go after her for any money he could get. Sue her, let the courts decide whether you're an a-hole or the actual victim. That's so bad, words can't describe the betrayal. I hope you find someone who can support through you in this time, shame your family can't play that role. At first, I was thinking it was one of those artsy nude groups and was going to be on her side, but now definitely not. You could sue her for posting you without your permission. She was openly asking other guys for action and saying you couldn't satisfy her. She's definitely in the wrong. You need to let your family and friends know your side of things, and that she was posting you without your consent. How you feel violated and disgusted, and ask how they'd feel about someone posting their videos online for everyone to see. Also let them know about her asking others to satisfy her. Send screenshots if she hasn't deleted everything. Now for the last story. My cousin confessed that she was in love with my husband. She's currently living with us and I have no idea how to act. Literally what the title says. My cousin has been living with us for the past 4 months along with her toddler so she can save up to get her own place. Yesterday, whilst my husband was out, she asked me if we could talk. I thought she was going to ask me if she could stay a little while longer, the original plan was for 6 months, but instead she gave me a long speech about how she was in love with my husband, how she tried to make the feelings go away, but they keep getting stronger, and how she thinks he might be her soulmate. She kept apologizing, but said that when she sees him with her son, she knows her family is complete, and he could offer her and her son the stability they need. I was honestly so shocked I just said uh, I need time to process this. I've been avoiding her since. My husband has been holed up in his office working, so he hasn't noticed anything weird yet. I think I'm still reeling from the shock. I can't even ask her to move out because her family disowned her when she had a baby out of wedlock. I haven't told anyone in real life yet either. Because I know they're all just going to tell me to kick her out, but I can't make my nephew homeless during a pandemic. What do I do? Now for the top advice. I mean, did she expect you to excuse yourself from the relationship so she could have him? WTF. Yeah, how did she see this going? Oh, of course cousin, your argument is so compelling I'll be getting a divorce post haste. I'm glad we had this chat. She hopes the feelings are mutual with the husband. She tells her, 
she tells her husband, if the husband is into the cousin, now he knows he can get with her if he wants to. By telling the wife first, she can spin it as she did right by the wife by telling her first. It's a less bad look than just putting the moves on the husband behind her back. If the husband isn't into her at all, it also gets her off the hook a bit because telling the wife is slightly less terrible than hitting on him. Scummy manipulative people plan crap out three moves ahead. She's not in love with your husband, she's just a single mom depending on family to get by, just wants your life. Time to talk to your husband and move her out. I thought this too but she was claiming she loved him since before we got engaged, four years ago, and her son is only 18 months. She may have had a crush on him, but it's likely that seeing her son bond to a male father figure has her mind going strange places, even realigning things in her memory as she convinces herself that they were meant to be. She's daydreaming about how easy it would be to get everything she wants, home, husband, dad, etc. if she just replaced you. Definitely talk to your husband before this gets worse. Now for Ops update. I spoke to my husband. He was shocked and a little uncomfortable. He apologized and said he didn't mean to give her the wrong impression. Neither of us are quite sure what we're going to do yet since he also doesn't want to leave my nephew homeless. We're discussing it. I wasn't going to update until we'd solved the issue, but literally every comment is telling me to tell him, so just to let you guys know I have. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.